Hello viewers, in today's video I will show you how you can root uh, Honor 7C which is running uh, EMUI 8 version this is the latest version uh, for uh, my region because this phone belongs to Middle Eastern uh, region so the first thing we need to do is uh, enable developer options by tapping 7 times on build number once you have enabled developer options you need to go in developer options and uh, there we need to enable uh, USB debugging and uh, OEM unlock so we will enable OEM unlock and then we will enable USB debugging viewers make sure you have selected uh, files transfer mode for USB only then USB debugging will work okay now we need to move to our computer where we need to unlock uh, enter boot where we need to enter fast boot mode and uh, command is for ADB devices to check the connectivity of phone if phone is connected properly okay it is connected now we need to type ADB space reboot dash bootloader and press enter this command will uh, reboot uh, our phone to fast boot mode where we will unlock the bootloader of this phone we was uh, bootloader unlock code price is uh, four dollar which you can buy uh, from uh, online services there are many services online from where you can buy this code okay here we can see that phone is locked showing so now we go we are going to unlock the bootloader command is fast boot space oem space unlock space and then paste the code the bootloader code of your phone the, this code is different for every phone so you have to buy for your phone paste it and uh, then press enter when you will press enter a warning on your screen will appear you need to select yes by holding volume up and then press power button to confirm your decision once you uh, press power button your device should reboot and uh, start factory reset process so make sure you back up all important data from your phone now this uh, reset process is going to take a few minutes let's wait for it phone just booted up now we need to go through the initial configurations make uh, viewers you can skip most of the steps you don't need to enter your google account you don't need to connect to wi-fi you don't need to set fingerprints and even screen lock you just need to skip everything and quickly reach home screen and uh, once you reach your home screen you need to enable developer options again by tapping seven times on build number this is what uh, I am going to do just now configuration completed go in settings and uh, there we need to tap seven times on build number to enable developer options once we have enabled developer options in developer options we need to enable usb debugging now make sure you have enabled uh, files transfer mode only then usb debugging will work okay now i will try to check the connectivity of uh, phone i think uh, the usb debugging is uh, not working viewers that is why i am uh, saying again and again that make sure you have enabled files transfer mode only then usb debugging will work i will try again to enable usb debugging okay i will uh, type the command again adb reboot bootloader and now this time phone rebooted and now we can see phone is unlocked now we need to flash TWRP recovery the command is fastboot space flash space ram disk sorry recovery underscore ram disk and then space and then drag and drop TWRP recovery on the CMD screen and press enter flashing completed now we need to disconnect uh, phone from our computer and then hold volume up and power button simultaneously viewers you should 
keep holding these two buttons until you see honor logo once honor logo appears you should leave the power button but keep holding volume up button this step is very crucial just leave the power button but keep holding volume up button phone should enter twrp recovery mode swipe to allow uh, modifications and uh, we was i am using otg drive because uh, i don't have sd card at this moment so you can also use uh, sd card to install the root access make sure you have copied magisk on your otg sb or uh, sd card whichever you are using magisk file is uh, included in the root files that i have provided with this video Okay, I have selected the USB OTG by tapping on select storage and uh, press OK. Now here I can see that Magisk is there. You can use latest version of uh, Magisk. If you want to use same version which I have used, you can also use this version 20. Okay, now the Magisk flashing has been started. Now this process will take few seconds. Once uh, we are done with uh, this magisk flashing, you just need to tap on uh, reboot system. So here we tap and press do not install. And uh, now the phone should uh, reboot to normal mode. Let's wait for the reboot. phone just booted up now we need to check if uh, magisk uh, manager is there yes magisk manager just appeared we need to connect to wi-fi because the magisk manager will verify uh, the version installed uh, through internet so we need to connect to wi-fi just to make sure that uh, magisk uh, can check if the proper version is installed open magisk manager and uh, here it is saying magisk is up to date and uh, magisk manager is installed now we need to install root checker to verify the root access i have already copied the uh, root checker apk file on my sd card sorry otg drive and uh, just allow uh, apps to install Viewers, make sure you don't upgrade your phone after the root. Make sure you don't factory reset your phone after root. In these both cases, your phone may get bricked. Okay, now we will in up open the root checker app and agree with terms and conditions. And then tap on verify root. Grant root access. And uh, here we see root is properly installed. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future.